going on my Super Saiyan which is Rhymesaw here and today I'm going to show you the easiest method to unlock Super Saiyan Blue because there actually is an easier method than most people might know about in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. Now as you guys already know Super Saiyan Blue was officially released for free which means you have to buy nothing will accept the game. If you don't have the game obviously you can't play it but you have to buy no DLC to be able to use Super Saiyan Blue. The second you log into your game right now on PS4, Xbox One and PC you should see a note that says Super Saiyan Blue is officially awakened uh, or it's just say Super Saiyan got Super Saiyan is officially unlockable, not awakened. Unlockable, talk to Whis and that's it. But it does say you have to be level 90. Now the question is, is Rhyme Style, I don't have time to get to level 90. What do I gotta do? Well, I got you. If you notice in the top right corner, it says I'm level 87, and if I pull up my moves, bam! Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, there it is. You can see it transformed to Super Saiyan Shrouded in Divine Energy. This form gives you a massive power up, but it also gradually drains key, which we'll talk about here in a second. What did you do, Rhyme Style? It turns out they actually didn't tell you that you can do this Whis quest with any race. It doesn't have to be a Saiyan. So what I did is, is I logged into my level 99 Freezer Race character, I talked to Whis, I finished the a quest, and then afterwards what you have to do is you have to max out the friendship, which if I go all the way to the left over here, as you can notice, I have it at zero. Now, here's the thing. It's actually pretty easy to max it out, and I'll show you in two seconds how to do that. Now, it doesn't really matter which quest you actually do, but what I was actually doing in the meantime, because I might as well grind Dragon Ball, so I'm doing it, is I went to quest 23, the one where you fight Frieza, and then afterwards three time patrols show up so you can fight them as well and get Dragon Balls as well. You might as well kind of like kill two birds with one stone. Now, this part is important. When you pick a character, which I don't know if you have to play as a CSC or if you can pick anybody else, uh, play as a CSC just to be safe, but the most important part is make sure you bring a Whis. In fact, Bring two Weezes, because two Weezes are better than one. Now, what you're going to do now after that is you're going to sit in this quest for the next 20 to 30 minutes, doing it over and over again, filling out your friendship. Now, unfortunately, because I can't train with Weezes, I can't show you how much friendship you get. But again, it took me literally about 20 minutes to get it maxed out to 100%. And after that, all you do is talk to Weezes, and bam, you get it. Now, of course, if you're showing off Super Saiyan Blue, I might as well actually show you the transformation and kind of break down what it actually does compared to the other transformations in the game. Wow, I said that really, really fast. So, first things first, you need five bars to activate it. So let's go ahead and get to the point where Freeze is not attacking me. And look at that animation. Oof, that looks absolutely nice. Now, the first thing you'll notice is your key is draining. It's draining fairly fast. Why? Well, it's kind of a way to balance out the transformation because it's pretty powerful. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but the, the boost you get from uh, Super Saiyan 3 is somewhere in the neighborhood of like 39%, 35%, 30-ish percent. With Super Saiyan Blue, it's like 45 ish, so it's pretty powerful. So they have to kind of add some kind of way to balance it out so you're not just absolutely obliterating everybody online. Uh, which is understandable. It does give you a boost. Like, watch, this is about to kill Freeze if I hit him. Yay! Yeah, he's dead. Now, notice, watch this, watch this, watch this. Up, 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 up. I just turned back to my base form. When you run out of key, you don't stagger and break like you do with Kyle Ken. You just simply revert back, revert back to the form, and then all you gotta do is charge back up, get the five bars. And they can transform again. So that's actually pretty cool. Unlike Kyle Ken, where you stagger, you left wide open, your stamina breaks, and then you get destroyed. You're kind of safe to do this move without having to worry about different issues in the game. Uh, but yeah, let me actually show you real fast once one more time. We can kind of focus my character. Uh, bam! See? You're back to Super Saiyan, and, or I guess base form, and that's about it. But yeah, that, that's all you gotta do. So all you have to do is log with, with any level 90 plus character, you do the Whis training, you max out the friendship, you talk to him afterwards and you get it, and then you simply log into your Saiyan character, equip it, and ta-da! That is the fastest way to get Super Saiyan Blue in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. Now, as far as other ways, you can probably stack with things like Limited Burst to make you more powerful, but that's a whole nother video! <laughs> that's a whole nother video, but for now, that's a quick tutorial on how to get the transformation, and that's it. So with that said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Super Saiyan Blue. Is it yay or nay? Any other questions you might have, you can also tweet me at RhymeStyle, and I'll do my best to answer if I see the tweet. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today. My name is Rhyme Style. Enjoy Super Saiyan Blue, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.